still in my pajamas. But look at this top. Oh well, hoodie. Oh, it's amazing. Peacocks. So fluffy inside as well. It is so nice and soft. But it is got it's like covered in multicolored stars and it's ooh. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Possibly the only channel on YouTube that uploads a video like once every six months. <laughs> Um, I uploaded a picture on my Facebook and my Instagram account and it seemed to get a lot of love from people. Uh, people really seemed to like the look that I created. Fortunately I didn't actually do it as a video. Um, so I decided that I'm going to sit down and kind of do that look again if I can. Um, I'll just quickly post a little picture up there for you guys to look at. Um, so yeah, I created this look. People absolutely loved it. Um, so I am going to try and recreate it if I can remember what it was that I did. Um, so yeah, I'm literally just going to jump straight in and I'll chat to you guys along the way. So Okay, so I'm going to do my brows off camera, but just to let you guys know that I'm going to be using the uh, brow pomade in the shade Ebony from um, Olivia Bell Beauty. I absolutely love this stuff. It is just fantastic. Really good and it's like a fiver. So give it a go. Where the hell is my Where's my brow brush? I mean guys I've got like a ridiculous amount of eye brushes, yet to find the one brush I actually need is like Along possibly with every other person on the planet um, that loves makeup, for Christmas, I actually got some, because my birthday is also Christmas Day, my mum's boyfriend, partner, friend, whatever it is that they consider themselves to be, um, gave me some birthday money, he doesn't do Christmas, he only does birthdays. Um, so he gave me some money, so I went to the Morphe store in um, Birmingham Bullring, and first time I'd ever been there, and oh my god, I love it. I went and bought the James Charles palette um, with Morphe and I've been waiting for this to come back in stock and I finally managed to get my hands on it, it was like the last one on the shelf and I literally pushed people out of the way to get it. So, um. Okay, so going in with the P. Louise base, this is the 0.5 shade. There are many, many different shades now, including coloured bases, but obviously you don't really want to be cleaning up your brows using a coloured base. I'm just going to go in with a small, slightly rounded yet flat synthetic brush. And then just going in with a dense fluffy brush, I'm just going to get some of that base on and then just basically apply it all over the lid. Get it right into that inner corner as well and also kind of just bring it up like onto the side of my nose. I'm just taking a super duper fluffy brush. This is a Morphe brush but if you've got just a brush that's like super duper fluffy just go in and use that. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Canvas. And I'm basically, I'm not putting this all over the lid, but I'm just packing it on to the kind of brow bone area. So now just taking a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to be dipping it into the shade Punch Me. I'm wondering if James Charles has ever actually been punched. And I'm just going to get this right into the crease, and this is going to be like my transition shade. Using the same fluffy brush, I am dipping into the shade T. And again, just following that line. This is obviously a darker brown shade. If you feel like you've got a little bit too much, just kind of, you can either wipe it on a tissue, or I do have some kitchen roll just at the side next to me. And then you can just simply go back in to that canvas shade, a little bit of that punch me, and then just 
keep going forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, just keep on blending. I'm also kind of bringing it like almost actually in to my brow. Just to make sure that, that I'm not going to have like a ridiculously harsh line so it looks like as if my brow is just kind of floating on my face. It's not really a look that I personally like. Same brush I am dipping into the shade Rusted. And this is just going to add like that little bit of nice kind of cranberry kind of orange tone to the look. taking a clean fluffy brush literally there is no product on this and I am just using this to kind of buff the edges a little bit so going back in with the same brush that I used to carve out the brow we're going back in with the P Louise base and I'm going to create a cut crease so the way that I find especially like with hooded eyes if I was to add like a shimmer or a glitter like just on my eyelid throughout the day it will transfer like higher above so I tend to just dab the base on like the lower part of my well basically along the lash line so along there and then I look up across round and then see that transfer line use that line as a guide so basically when you do that your shimmer eyeshadows aren't going to transfer onto like your mattes and things like that they'll just stay where you put it i'm just going to take my ring finger and i'm just going to gently swipe it into the shade i cannot see seriously all because these like white lights the shade is so good and I'm going to pat this on like the middle section of my eyelid because I want to use like a brighter shade on the inner corner. And then just with um, a small brush, I'm dipping into the shade Ring Light. And I'm adding that right into that inner corner and then I'm just following that cut crease shape that I created. Going in with that fluffy blending brush from earlier, I'm just going to dip into the shade Boutique and that brilliant red shade. You're kidding. Kind of mixing those two together so it's like a brown kind of red. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow side done. So I'm now just going to go in with this Tarte Gel Liner. Just going in with a very small eyeliner brush. And then I tend to like starting on the outer corner first. And I'm basically just kind of drawing the line towards the tip of my brow. You obviously don't need to do like a winged liner for this but I just found that especially with the lashes on as well it just really helps kind of pull the look together. In for mascara I'm going to be going in with the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte as well. Oh hello. Ah. It's actually a lot more simple. <laughs> but oh god, right. I'll just slide that back in. And then for lashes, I actually have um I think these are Olivia Bell as well. I'm gonna go in with these. These aren't actually the eyelashes that I was wearing in that picture. Uh, those lashes I was wearing like a hell of a lot but they actually just like tore apart in the end so I no longer have those lashes 
Okay then, so that is the eyes done. So now we're gonna go in with the face products. So I am absolutely obsessed with the Lip and Fab Hydrate um, Plumping Serum. I do tend to have quite dry skin. I'm not like super duper dry where I've got like patches of dry skin, but I can just, to be honest, my dry skin is probably just caused because I don't drink enough. And when I say don't drink enough, as in water, not, I could drink plenty of alcohol, but not water as much. Just make sure that I get it down the neck as well. The thing that I absolutely love as well about this serum is that it really doesn't take a very long time for your skin to absorb it. So you're not really going to be sitting around kind of waiting for everything to sink in. Like literally, I can feel my skin's like on that tacky side now. Seeping in lovely. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline um, Superstay Foundation. Give it a good shake. I'm actually running out of this stuff. I have like a bag full of different foundations. Yeah, I keep on going back to this one. I absolutely love it. It is brilliant. I'm just gonna get some of this foundation. It's a pump as well, which I absolutely love. So I'm just getting some of that on the back of my hand. Going in with the Morphe. And then for concealer, I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Age Rewind. I am like right down to the bottom of this stuff. It is fantastic. So I've got a lighter shade for obviously highlighting my face. But recently, I've actually really enjoyed using it as well to contour my face. Also put just a little bit there. In there just because I tend to get like quite red I'm sure that you noticed earlier on um I get quite red cheeks but like lower cheek area so I'm just going to turn the sponge around so I've got like the more pointed edged side And then just before the concealer creases and then sets, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And this is the shade 05 Fair. I'm not going to be completely putting this everywhere, but I'm making sure I'm just setting right underneath my under eyes. And the reason I'm making sure I'm not applying it everywhere is simply because I'm going to be going in with a concealer for my contour. So you don't really want to be adding liquids on top of powders. It's just going to completely mess everything up. So I'm just making sure I'm getting it just right underneath my eyes. So for contour, I'm going to go back in with the Age Rewind. The one that I used underneath my eye was the shade... 00 Ivory, but the shade I'm going to go in for my contour is 10 Caramel. Now I'm not going to add too much, I'm literally just going to add, like do a line, line, a line, top of my forehead, now a little bit down the sides of my nose and underneath, flip, very lightly along the jawline. And then I'm going to go in with that Morphe sponge and just and for the nose, I'm just going to take this is a Morphe brush. That is specifically for um, nose contouring. I 
Okay, so now just to kind of chisel out these cheeks a little bit more, I'm going to go in with the um, Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour. This is the palette fair. They do have different shades and things like that. I'm just going to go in with this BH Cosmetics um, brush. This is like so super soft. And I'm just going to dip into these two shades. Disguise this double chin as much as I can. Mm. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with this Pixie um, by Petra. And this is the shade Beach Rose. And I actually really like to use um, like a stippling brush for my blushes. And for highlights, I'm going to go in with the Huda, Huda? Huda Beauty um, Winter Highlight Palette. But I'm going to dip into this shade, this shade, and I'm just going to use the Luxie um, Tapered Highlighter Brush. I'm just going to sweep off the powder. Gonna go back in and start blending the under eye section now. So I'll blend, I'll blend you guys in. I will zoom you guys in again. Okay, so I'm just taking this Jess Up um, Smudge Brush 226 and I'm just gonna dip into the shade, I'm gonna dip into the shade Boutique and just blend that into the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, I'm going in to these two highlight shades. Okay, so now we move on to lips. I do feel as though you can kind of get away with a lot of different kind of lip tones. But the shade range that I went for was like shockingly nude and glossy lip. Um, so I went in with the Karl Lagerfeld and Model Co um, lip pencil and I actually very kind of overdrew my upper lip so I started off in the cupid bow section first. And then again, this looks crazy. Um, and then again, I went in with a Huda, Huda Beauty um, liquid, liquid matte. And this is the shade, I can't see the light is so bright. And this is the shade Venus. Okay, so I did actually go in with a gloss on top of this um, and this is actually a high shine lip gloss from the shop Next um, and this is the lip gloss shade in the buff. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, obviously I'm not saying that you have to buy everything that I use to create this look, there are probably many different products that you could use to do this look, it's basically just kind of like the techniques that I use. 
Thank you so, so much for joining me in this video. I hope to see you in my next one. So yes, I will speak to you guys soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Mwah.